In this video, I'll show you how you can connect your Namecheap domain to your Wix website. I'll show you in a step-by-step -step format, so let's jump into it. So first, what you need to do is go to Wix and choose the website that you want to connect a domain to. Now, it's important to note that you need to have a premium plan. So I've got a premium plan on this website here, so I'm going to select and edit this site. That will then take me into the dashboard of my website, where I can then connect a custom domain. So you might have this checkbox here. Now, if you don't have this, just go to connect domain here or just click on the button here. It doesn't matter where you click on it. Just find connect domain and that will redirect you to the right window. Okay, so now you're on this window. Now we can uh, enter in our domain. So go to Namecheap, log into your account, then go to your username, go to dashboard, and then you should be able to find your domains. So I'll connect this one here, online how to guide dot click. So we'll click on manage and we'll just go ahead and copy this domain. So now we can go www.onlinehowtoguide.click. We can now click on let's go. It's going to tell you that it's taken, uh, which is a good sign because we already own it. So then click yes, I own this domain. It will now find your domain provider, which was very quick. Um, it's going to tell you that it takes about five minutes for you to register or connect it, sorry. Uh, but it could take up to 48 hours for all of the changes to go into process and for everything to be updated on every server. So we're going to go ahead and click on start and we can now log into our domain provider. So I've already logged into Namecheap. Now we can find our domain settings page. So we're already on our domain. We're already in the, our domain settings. So we can go ahead and just click I found my domain settings. Now it says in your domain settings, find the area where you can manage or edit name server records. So what you want to do is you want to go to Namecheap and here just scroll down where it says name servers. Now what we're doing, we'll skip through this again, is we're look, we're trying to find our name servers that currently exist. Now maybe you don't have any name servers. Um, I've used this domain for multiple different projects, so the settings are going to be different. But what you need to do is you need to replace the old name servers with the new ones. So go ahead and copy the first name server, then go to Namecheap and change this to custom DNS. Now paste in the first name server in the name server one box, then go back to Wix, copy name server number two and paste it in here. Then click on the green tick and you can see the DNS servers have been updated and they may take 40 hours to take effect. Okay, so now we can say I've replaced my name servers. It's now gonna verify the connection which can take up to 30 seconds here. And there you go, on our part it is done. Now we just need to wait up to 48 hours and the changes will be saved. Uh, if we go ahead and go to the domains page on Wix, we can see this being updated. We're just waiting for the domain check, then it will connect and then it will be live worldwide. This could take 48 hours, so do be patient. But if you've done everything correctly, then you would have connected your domain to your Wix website. Of course, you can try it now, but it probably won't be working straight away. Yep, so you, oh, so there you go, look. I thought it wasn't gonna work, but it actually works straight away.